Timers in Excel. So a lot of you have recently asked me, how can I schedule a task in Excel to run automatically every, for example, X number of minutes? And how can I set up some conditions to stop it? So in this lesson, I'm going to show you a solution with VBA. So if you see here in my Excel sheet, I have a small data set with A and B. Then I have a pivot table with a simple sum. So we're just summing A's and summing B's. And here I have a counter. I'm going to bring the Visual Basic Editor with Alt F11. And here I have a module. If you don't have this module, just right click here, insert module. We're going to create first a sub, start procedure, and then another sub, procedure, steps. So what we want to do is increment this A by one and refresh my pivot table. So A, I'm going to start it at zero, just so you can see, it will be easier for you. And I'm going to do sheet one dot range B two dot value is equal to, we can copy paste this, put it here plus one. And then we're going to do active workbook dot refresh all. So this will refresh everything, which means the pivot table will get refreshed. So let's try it. If you press on this button, you can see that now I have two and two is here. If I press again, we get three and here it also updates. What I'm also going to do is add one here to my counter. So cell J1 dot range J1 dot value is equal, we can also copy paste this and put it here plus one. Now we need to run this procedure. So to run this procedure, first of all, I'm just gonna put my counter J to zero. So I can start from scratch. So here J will become zero and then here we're gonna increment it one by one. The other thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put B2 to zero. And then comes the magic. I'm going to use application dot on time. And then I have to write the parameters. So the parameter that is the most important is the start time. Obviously, every time this will run, the start time will be different because we will be in a different time period. So to circumvent this problem, I can use the now function, which takes the now date plus time value, which is a certain time. And here I can put the time in hours, minutes, and seconds. So I'm just going to put it every two seconds. Then comma, what is my procedure? My procedure is this one. You need to put it in double quotation mark. And then you do comma, comma. The schedule is important. I'm just going to put it as true. True means it's just going to continue running and running and running. So let me just show you this. I'm just going to do space and then underscore so I can go to the line and you can see the whole procedure. Now the catch is the following. You need to put this here also. The same one. So we just put it here and then we need to write the code to stop it. The code to stop it will be based on an if statement in this case. So I'm going to do if sheet one dot range J one dot value is bigger than four. So that means that when J will cross four, I need to run it one more time and stop. So I will run it in total five times. You're going to see this when we test it and if. And here in the middle, the only thing I need to do is copy paste this. And instead of true, I will put false. And there you go. So let's try to run it. We're just going to put a button here. So we're going to do insert illustration shape, just a random button. 
and we're gonna tag the macro so my macro is start procedure the first one not the second one and now we're gonna run it so you see this is zero one everything is moving together now the macro stops why the macro stop because i reach five here it's bigger than four so i just ran it one more time and stopped and that's about it really basically we ran our macro five times and then we updated our pivot table so you can use this technique for anything you want to do with a timer the only thing you need to do is to change the code that you have here and write your own code I'm going to put a link to this workbook so you can download it and use it. Please let me know in the comment section whether you like this approach or not and what are the scenarios that you are facing that require timers.